Hi, welcome to James Miller Lifeology, where you learn to simplify and transform your life. My name is James Miller. I'm a licensed psychotherapist and a composer. In this episode, I wanted to speak with you about the importance of boundaries. A couple episodes back, entitled, Can I Trust Myself? We talked about integrity. And integrity is something we use that keeps us safe internally, but boundaries are what keeps us safe externally. So let's think about uh, an imaginary hula hoop. Let's say we have an imaginary hula hoop around us. And so everything that's inside of that circle is what we need to make us feel safe, what we need to have happen in our life to make us feel successful. But anytime anyone's behavior or even physical proximity encroaches on that imaginary hula hoop, it all of a sudden makes us uncomfortable. So boundaries are what we put around us to make sure that people do not infringe on that. So the way a boundary would work is this. If someone is doing something that makes you uncomfortable, you just simply say, I'm feeling uncomfortable right now. I need for this situation to change. I need for I need to not be yelled at. I need to not be treated disrespectfully. I need not to be, um, to have, I need to have personal space, literally personal space, because sometimes people are those close talkers that which can make us uncomfortable. And so it's important to really be mindful of using the I statements versus you statements, which is from a previous episode as well. And so when we say I'm feeling whatever we're feeling about the situation, and I need for that situation to change. And so when we say that, it's, it allows for the person to be able to have that understanding of, okay, I need to change my behavior because I'm, this, I'm making this person feel uncomfortable. And sometimes people get it right away, but sometimes people don't. And so then with the next step of the limit is to simply say, I told you I'm feeling uncomfortable, so if this doesn't change, I'm going to do this. And whatever thing that this may be, then it's something that we will have to enforce. So for example, if someone is talking to us in a very negative way, what happens is this. We then, sim we then simply say, if, if this continues to, if this conversation continues to go this way, I'm going to hang up the phone. I'm going to walk away. I'm going to remove myself. And so that's the, the cause and effect of the boundary. If it doesn't change, this is what I'm going to implement. Sometimes we just simply remove ourselves without even saying anything. You know, if someone's physically too close to us or someone is, is doing something that we feel just so overwhelming that we just literally need to remove ourselves. And so the thing is, if it's so important that whatever limit you set, whatever the consequence is for the person's actions, you have to be consistent with it. Sometimes we can set a limit and say, well, if you do this, I'm going to remove myself, for example. But if we don't remove ourselves every single time, well, that person isn't going to understand that and they're going to continue to do it. So consistency is the key to make sure that people do not cross your boundaries when it comes to certain events. Because if you're not consistent, like I said, they're not going to hear what you have to say. The other component of setting a limit is this. Often people blame us for setting a limit, for following through with the, with the consequences. But the reality is we've set the limit. We've, we've created that line in the sand. And if people cross that line, well, then they are choosing to have us implement whatever that consequence is. We're not, we're not randomly saying, I'm going to do this. The point is when we are very clear that if they do this again, this is what we're going to do. So we simply just pull back and wait. Hopefully they won't do it. But if they do it, then they are choosing with their actions to have us then set the limit to say, all right, then I'm going to remove myself or I'm going to separate myself or I'm going to terminate this conversation, whatever, the, whatever limit you set. And so it's so important to remember, boundaries always keep us safe. Personal integrity keeps us safe internally. Boundaries with this imaginary hula hoop keep us safe externally. And the more successful you are with setting a limit, the more successful you will be in being able to live a healthy, productive, proactive life. So thank you so much for watching James Miller Lifeology. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.